This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Sunday Night Shooters. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to create the jam donut, or as they'd call it around here, the jelly donut, right? Because we don't have jam, we have jelly. Yes. Obviously, it's quite different. Obviously, uh, there is a difference. Um, apparently, wherever our submitter, Super Smiley Man, no, Super Smiley Face Man is at, it, uh, they, have jam, they have jam there, so I'm guessing in the South. Or another country. When I read jam donut, I'm like, what the heck is that? It's the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. She was all confused. She's only been in New England. <laughs> <laughs> I've gone out of New England. They don't understand me. But I, I know they New don't England. understand you. It's funny. Uh, this recipe has two-thirds of an ounce layered butterscotch schnapps. And so we're going to put that in. We're going to throw in one-third ounce of Irish cream. I'm using Cool Swan because it's mega awesome. Best stuff on earth. We actually did have somebody write in and said, I found this and you were correct. I know. Of course we're correct. I don't joke around with this stuff. There's no need for me to hype up a, a, a brand because, well, honestly, nobody's paying me that significant amount of money where I could be hyped up, and if I did, I'd have to put it at the end of the show anyway because there's new laws for that. So the stuff I say is awesome is because I really think so. Yeah, but, I mean, it's a matter of taste. No, it's really awesome. <laughs> it's awesome to you. Someone could taste it and go, oh, my gosh, I doubt it. There is but... nobody on this planet who's going to taste Cool Swan people and go, like... oh, my gosh, it's disgusting. People don't like butterscotch. I know. I didn't say that. I said Cool Swan. Butterscotch, I understand. People just don't like butterscotch. I understand. Butterscotch is awesome. But I, I don't understand that, but I can I can understand the position that they're in, how bad and, and just sorry their, life sorry their life has to be because they can't All right, come on. eat the butterscotch. Anyway. The jam donuts layered, butterscotch, Irish cream, then you're going to sneak in some grenadine, a dash of grenadine. I'm warning you now, I don't think it's going to work because I've tried and it doesn't do what I think it's supposed to do. I think the grenadine is supposed to be in the middle because a jam donut is like a donut with, with jam or jelly in the middle. That's not how this happened. But it looks cool Maybe and considering the submitter is super, super their smart, thanks, jam donut, it has on jam bottom. on top. But it's on the bottom. Yeah, but all you gotta do is flip it over Absolute and it's on dens- top. The density is, is, is huge. You, you could flip, no, when you drink it, it's the reverse. Yeah. Um, no, here's the deal. She was licking the glass, which tells me it was a good cocktail. <laughs> I was not. You were too, <laughs> licking the glass. So good. I have to make it, because there's very rare circumstances where she's actually trying to get her tongue inside the glass. Isn't that funny? Yes, no, it's sad. It's, it's sad. funny because it's sad. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> and for those that haven't had Cool Swan and, you know, how I'm hyping it up so much, Go find they it. need to write me in and send me gallons of this stuff. It's got, um, what was it? It's like chocolate. chocolate. Infused. Notes of chocolate, cocoa, vanilla with the single malt of the scotch and They infuse it with chocolate cream. as they make it. Right. Because they showed us the process. It's Yeah, we saw this at Tales of the Cocktail 2000. In a slideshow, not like live. Yeah, they didn't show us it. That would be awesome. Uh, but they explained kind of the process of having to, how hard it is. I think it's even proprietary now, right? To get this chocolate yeah. to interlace with the whiskey and the cream without separating ever. I think the whiskey's kind of more for longevity. No, the whiskey's for making it a whiskey-based. Irish cream has to have whiskey. Yeah, for longevity. No, it's Irish. Otherwise, it's just cream. Right? But I don't think it really plays a big role in the taste. Maybe not. You know what's kind of neat? Is if you could dump it down the... Just dump it right in the center. Since it doesn't layer correctly. Anyway. Yeah, and I would lick the spoon with that awesomeness of grenadine, but I don't want to spoil this. It looks like almost similar... In many ways to the Bloody Brain recipe, um, it's just butterscotch. I don't remember if the Bloody Brain has um, butterscotch or what it is. I think it's Irish cream Irish, and grenadine. I think it's creme de menthe. Oh, grenadine maybe. But it's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. 
Nice. Are we good to go? Mm-hmm. All right. See, see how that. good it is. See if you lick the cup. You're at the cool swan. Do totally adds like a another dimension of like that chocolate. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> you're drunk, aren't you? Yeah, I'm wasted. If I get one more person leaving <laughs> comments, this guy's gotta be drunk. No. This is me. This is how I am all the time. Wait, admit that you're drunk. And <laughs> Not fine, I'm drunk. If I was drunk, this is the most soberest drunk I've ever been. Anyway. Because we're using the coolest one, you might not get... S you'll probably get one tier of awesomeness, but to get, like, the tier 12 awesomeness, you need to... Oh, wow. Thing. Um, you need to have that that extra dimension of, like, a white chocolate or some sort of chocolate. The smoothness but without yeah. much burn. There's not a lot of burn with the cool swan, where I think with Bailey's and a lot of the other ones that are all over the floor. Oh, there's one. St. Brendan's. Um, this is just ridiculous. i got to take another f picture of this. Um, you get a little extra of that whiskey burn. With the cool swan, you get a little extra of the sweetness. So and sweet it wraps around the butterscotch with oh. grenadine. So you get grenadine, right? Boom, sweetness in your face. But then you've got butterscotch, which is no doubt all sweetness. So super sweet chocolate butterscotch, like that. What should be pomegranate, but really tastes just like something. Cherry kind of. Yeah, like a cherry sweet cherry. But maraschino it almost thing. gets lost in there with those other tastes. Which is weird. Yeah. The fact that you can actually lose the grenadine, no matter how many small amounts you put in there. This is a dash. It's still intense. Um, it, it in this cocktail, it doesn't play that big of a role. It's really the butterscotch melding with the with the with the Irish cream, which is just super awesome. Jam donut. I've never had a donut that tastes as good as this. No. Although a Krispy Kreme donut does have a good donut. Donuts are good though. Yeah. In a different way. This is delicious. They don't get you drunk. They don't get you drunk. I've never had a donut that has gotten me drunk. Everydaydrinkers.tv. <laughs> Weird. We're teaching you how to drink.